Nothing Vicky here with you and today I'm here for day number 21 of 30 inks 30 days and we are using this Lamy crystal ink today so it's this bottle here and I'm using this Jiao Jinhao uh, pen and the last time I used a Jinhao pen I can't I don't do well with numbers um, in the sense that I can't I can't keep up with the, the 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 number with the type of pen I'm not good at that I can remember names of pens um, more a lot more easy easily easily yeah so and I can't speak it's late in the day and I'm tired so anyway um, this one is actually the 450 and the other one the or big orange one was actually the 159 so anyway you would think that the the smaller one would be the the smaller number and the bigger one would be the bigger number but no so we will fill this little pen up and this is my first time filling this one up I got this from a friend and uh, she sent it to me um, thinking I already had that one and that I would give this one to Guilen, my stepmom, but I didn't have this model, so I just had to keep it for myself. Uh, but it's not like I haven't shared other stuff with my stepmom, so don't worry about that. It's not like I'm uh, not sharing. But my stepmom is not the avid collector that I am. So she doesn't mind. Okay, come on. I hate when that happens and it takes me forever to fill up a pen. I understand because it's like all the way down in the ink. And my converter is there. Okay, so I, we've got it. And I'm really gonna fill up this one because it's a it's a red ink. So even though it's a little bit pale, it still will be perfect for for uh, Christmas time. So I don't want to. I want to have a good fill because I don't think I will be filling up any pen anytime soon after this 30 inks because I haven't been using them except that if if I because I, I'm going to be writing a lot of um, Christmas card which reminds me that I keep saying I need to start writing them out because I'm going to be running after my tail very soon trying to send them all out but yeah I'm not I'm not I'm not doing it. Oh, why do we do this when we know, you know, like just I'm other, I'm doing other stuff. It's not like I'm not doing anything, but I'm not doing that. And soon enough, it's going to be December, and I want to make sure that I'm in time because of the fact that I've got a feeling that the mail is going to be horrendous this year again. So, yeah, and it's not like I don't have cards. I've got tons of cards because I keep making them for you guys. Well, not maybe not the guys that that watch the ink videos, but for everybody else. So, well, that's gonna be nice splotches. So those are the splotches, and uh, let's do a little bit of. It looks a, it looks pretty good on Tomo River paper. I've got to admit. Okay, so we'll put that aside and we'll get to this and uh, pull out a little book and uh, today we're using uh, Lamy. Whoops, I can't spell Lamy. Cr 
crystal ink. I think they spelled it crystal that way, right? Ruby. And we're day 21. And I'm using my Jin Hell. Whoops. Uh, one five. Ugh. And again, I was gonna do it. I it, it, seriously numbers don't don't do it for me. And it's burgundy. I don't know why. I just have a really hard time remembering numbers. It's like those sailor inks that are all numbers. Why? Why seriously? It writes really well for a very inexpensive pen. Some are more expensive than others, but in general, Gen Al's are very affor affordable pens. And it's keeping up. And putting down a good, a decent amount of ink. So this, I think, is going to be really, really a pretty ink for my Christmas cards. Quite pleased with this. Quite pleased that it's at the end of the, uh, well, more at the end, the end portion type of... Uh. So, now, let's go and check out the chromatography. It's pretty much red. That's, you know, there's a little bit of pink, but it's it's pretty much a red ink. Uh, primary primary color, I guess. So easy to uh, to spot. Really beautiful. Not a lot of uh, shading or any of that, but still very pretty. And then. In terms of ink that look like that, the one that I have that's the closest and it's not really is the uh, Ferris Wheel Press Algonquin Maple that we saw uh, recently because that's the, the closest. I've looked through all, all my other ones and they're not the same. They're either darker or more like Bordeaux type of color or Merlot, uh, like burgundy type of uh, colors. So. So yeah, so that's it for day 21. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you will come and uh, join me tomorrow for day number 22. Bye.